All right, so we're at the Bass Pro Shops in Gainesville, Florida, right? Um, and they've built a large area called Celebration Point here, uh, near the Bass Pro Shops. Celebration Point, including that parking garage right there, was owned by Celebration Point LLC. In 2016, they secured a $70 million deal with Arcus Group, Argus Corp out of New York, which is a venture capitalist group that works in the real estate uh, investments and holdings. But here's where this gets interesting. In March of 2024, uh, Celebration Point LLC ended up filing bankruptcy after $115 million worth of investments were put into it. And I'll show you everything you've got here. So this is the Alachua County uh, Sports and Events Center. See how significant this area is. And we're talking about a huge parking garage. These buildings over here, you see the office buildings, our class A office buildings, this is considered institutional real estate here. So you've got constant contact, Frankel, a bunch of other, you know, gas south in this building right here, the gray one you're looking at. You've got the sports, but you see nobody's working here. There's nobody, there's construction fencing up, nobody working here at all, right? So the development is just halted. And that's because it's in bankruptcy court now, as of March of 2024. There's this beautiful courtyard, and the Nike outlet stores, uh, multiple like stores here. But it, with it being in, in bankruptcy court, they really don't have any standing. Like they can't build on it. There's no money, investment money. Another big parking garage here. The Indigo Hotel. Um, you've got Prime, per, Prime and Pearl, high end, uh, uh, you know, uh, Rib House, Fat Tuesdays. And you've got a, a brand new, look at this up here, brand new Regal Cinemas that's state of the art cinema right there. All right. And then when you go down past there, you'll see there's residential residential buildings that are just stalled. Everything has stalled because of is everything in bankruptcy court now. So technically, there is no owner. It's in the court's hands right now. And, and now you've got all these half-built condos and apartments, things like that here. And this is on Steve Spurrier Way is the name of the road. The View. This is called The View. And uh, you know, there's this some construction here. Watch the construction. These are for rent. So these are opened up here. That's Gold Street. Table Team Gold Street. These are still being built. So there is still development going on right here. So this area, The View, is all the whole thing. Okay, maybe for sale. It's bigger houses and they're just this is a massive construction area here building a state-of-the-art community within the heart of Gainesville Florida here's here's the view apartments at Celebration Point you see they're building huge condos here okay just I, it, this is the most massive development that I've ever seen that just went into bankruptcy and stalled. So, over here we got the pool for the view with a cyber truck. It's so ugly, so ugly. They got a pool there, and here's the apartments for the view. Or condos, I'm sure they call them something other than apartments. But over here, so if you're parking over in the the area is owned by this area right here is not owned by Celebration Point. It's owned by another company, but I believe. But Celebration Point owns where the office buildings were, the parking garages, the Regal Cinemas, um, basically everything uh, except for Bass Pro Shop. Um, I think Infotech was already there. Infotech was a land, landmark building there, uh, our anchor building before they started all this project. And again, $115 million in investment money in bankruptcy court right now. I know houses, they're gonna build more houses, I guess, here, but it just stopped and stalled. And I'm not even sure what's going on 
the development of the apartments, the houses for sale, everything's for sale. So they didn't have investors already buying the place, buying it. So like no one lives in any of this. Just brand new development. Typically when you see these, they, they build them in phases and they sell some to invest, to, to, to pay for the investment of the next ones. See there's a pad right there, they're building something there, but just not done. So, but typically they do these in phases so that way they, they know they can build a community. Like even Sandstones was done in phases and that's, and, 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 and make sure people already were interested in being there before we put any amount, any real money into the place. Um, which is now, now that phase is complete and we're going to start investing more and more money into it. But this is just a, a, a ridiculous amount of money. And they even built a new bridge going across 75 to attach this side of Gainesville to the other side. And now I talked to the security um, at the part, one of the parking garages and they said it's owned by Viking. I didn't see any name of Viking on any any of the GIS maps. I'm not sure what that is, but um, I'm, I'll have to look down and see what Viking is. But it says it's owned by the Celebration Point LLC. Maybe Viking is it the investment company that bought it when it went into bankruptcy. I'm not really sure. The promenade here, you see the courtyard with real high-end shops, you know. Spurriers, there's your Regal Cinemas. Visors, tailgate, rooftop bar, rooftop bar there. Spurrier's Grid Island Grill. Well, Steve Spurrier was the person who owned all this property and sold it for development. So you have even have the International Diamond Center over here, International Diamond Center. But yeah, this this is I I think this probably is the largest, most expensive Dave and Buster's, most expensive development that I've ever seen installed this far along in the project over a bankruptcy court. And there's gotta be more to the story. There's gotta be more to the story that we had to figure out because, I mean, right now, if, if someone tried to kick us off the property, for instance, and we parked in these parking lots, I mean, it's in bankruptcy court. They don't actually own it. So you'd have to have like a court order to do that in order to even tell someone they have to leave because the, 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 the rights to the property don't belong to anyone except for the court when it's in bankruptcy court. As long as that's, at least that's the way I know it. Maybe I'm wrong about that and somebody can correct me on it. But as far as I know, and I've only seen bankruptcy going with houses, not, not this big of properties and like developments, but all this to our left is all part of the bankruptcy bankruptcy uh, proceedings all that to the right all that all that the, the hotel indigo was already here but i still think it's owned by them i i've checked i know that this the five five zero zero one building there that houses constant contact frankel next tran and all is nike all of this is all part of the project and it's just it's incredible and viking is right there it says viking they said Viking owns this, but that's not what it says online on the GIS maps. Very, very interesting. That was what the security told me. So security is under the impression that it's owned by Viking, but the GIS maps clearly says it's owned by the Celebration Point LLC. Celebration yeah, Point LLC. And uh, that's currently in bankruptcy court. I'm sure they don't want to tell anybody that it's in bankruptcy court. I'm sure they're keeping that quiet. But very, very interesting. In Gainesville, Florida.